Good evening. You can't see the cage we have you in, so you think you're free. Here are today's top stories to strengthen your cage. All-time favorite children's toy, Mr. Potato Head, is getting his junk sliced off. Hasbro announced they're changing the name from Mr. Potato Head to the gender-neutral name of Potato Head which is sure to be offensive to the decapitated community. Pretending there aren't any genders has become a popular way for Marxists to be more inclusive to all genders. But more importantly, Hasbro's neutering of Mr. Potato Head is expected to be a powerful way of being more inclusive to dumb people. Coca-Cola is getting rave reviews for their anti-racist training. In it, they advise their employees, try to be less white. In their training, Coca-Cola, Americans' favorite thing to use to give themselves type 2 diabetes, sought to reduce racism by using racism, which seems effective as two wrongs always equal a right. For some reason though, Coke telling people, try to be less white, now has people telling Coke, try to be less stupid. President Biden's nominee for Assistant Secretary of Health, Dr. Rachel Levine, a transgender woman, is coming under fire. There's concern that Rachel will push a very progressive and therefore beautiful agenda of allowing the government to provide children with puberty blockers and surgical sex change surgery, even without their parents' consent. Accordingly, during a hearing, Senator Rand Paul had a very simple line of questioning for the good doctor, which was, Dr. Levine, you have supported both allowing minors to be given hormone blockers to prevent them from going through puberty, as well as surgical destruction of a minor's genitalia. Dr. Levine, do you believe that minors are capable of making such a life-changing decision as changing one's sex? Dr. Levine, who apparently doesn't understand English, refused to answer the question twice. Predictably, the mainstream media has attacked Senator Rand Paul, calling him transphobic. Apparently the senator didn't get the memo that nuanced thought, questioning, and standing up for the well-being of children who can't stand up for themselves is hate speech. And I agree, not only should the government be able to give children hormone blockers and surgically alter their genitals without their parents' consent, I think they should be able to do it without the child's consent either. That'd be more progressive, wouldn't it? I remember being a child when I was five years old, I was absolutely certain that I was Batman. But because I had abusive parents, they didn't allow me to get superhero reassignment surgery, which would have permanently altered me for the rest of my life based on what made sense to me at five. Now, as I'm 39 years old, I'm obviously still certain that I'm Batman. I just wish there would have been a government back then that would have protected me from my parents protecting me from my five-year-old brain. This just in! We should also allow children to drive cars because some children want to, and allowing them to do so would be a progressive way to provide them with a safe space to be a danger to themselves. In a new twist of events, President Biden signed an executive order, this one allowing the U.S. to fund global abortions. This comes a week after Biden endorsed the Chinese Communist Party's genocide against the Uyghurs, which includes murder, rape, torture, forced sterilizations, and forced abortions. We can't wait for his next executive order and what kind of help it'll inflict on society. Oh, it's already happened. Biden signed an executive order giving the Chinese Communist Party access to the US's power grid. Seems like it would have been xenophobic not to. This just in! Biden's approval ratings are at an all-time high in China. After President Biden and his boss Kamala Harris relentlessly criticized Donald Trump for keeping kids in cages that Biden and Obama built, they're now keeping kids in those same cages. However, unlike how the cages were cages under the Trump administration, Biden and Harris have helped the cages undergo cage identity reassignment surgery as Biden and Harris now identify the cages as temporary structures and overflow camps. And for the conspiracy theorists full of misinformation who mistakenly think Biden and Harris are hypocrites and dishonest, Daily Wire contributor Cabot Phillips made this flowchart to help you determine if a kid is in a cage or not. In Nigeria, 317 girls were kidnapped overnight from a boarding school during a heavily armed raid. 
It's feared the girls will be sold into sex slavery. Meanwhile, in the US, President Biden eliminated Trump's Operation Talon a program that targets sex offenders illegally living in the US. Biden came under fire for his decision that he may or may not remember. And for the critics, in addition to all of them being racist, they're also not being inclusive to the sex offender community that identifies as wanting to sexually violate your children. Shame on you, critics. New York mob boss Governor Andrew Cuomo has been hit with sexual harassment allegations from a former staff member in his administration. And now he's facing sexual harassment allegations from a second woman, too. Cuomo, the man who Biden has called the gold standard in COVID leadership, is also being investigated for lying about and covering up nearly 1,900 nursing home deaths caused by his gold standard in COVID leadership. President Biden visited Texas to survey the damage caused by the devastating winter storm. Biden, who now wears two masks that are different colors, so you'll see that he's wearing two masks, arrived in Texas in the nick of time, 12 days after the winter storm began. While he visited, it was 80 degrees, which allowed him to get an accurate assessment of the winter storm. During his visit, the number of people wearing masks in Texas surged to one. And after Biden left Texas, things in the state were exactly the same as before he arrived. After many promises of diplomacy and not war, the team of people who probably wear hoods that run President Biden had President Biden bomb the sovereign nation of Syria this week. And he did it without congressional approval, which is normally a big no-no and illegal. But Joe Executive Order Biden doesn't need anyone's approval. He doesn't have it anymore either. So he went ahead and did it. Joe's bombing took out an Iranian-based militia group that many say posed no threat to the US and was also involved in fighting ISIS. When asked about the bombing, President Biden explained it as, it's like fireworks, but at people. In other news, 30 House Democrats are asking Biden to give up his sole control of the nuclear codes. Hmm. I wonder why his own party would be asking him to do that. I don't know. BLM, an organization dedicated to pretending to care about Black Lives Mattering, has removed language from its website about how they're trying to disrupt the nuclear family. The organization likely believes that hiding this goal of theirs from their website will keep people from knowing what they're trying to do. The founders of the BLM organization have stated they are trained Marxists. Marxism is an evil philosophy that's basically racism against the whole human race. Marxism has an aim of destroying free society in order to usher in communism. Primary objectives that Marxists seek to accomplish in order to give rise to communism are destroying the family unit and getting people to no longer believe objective truth. This just in! There's no biological difference between men and women. This just in! Math is canceled because it's racist. This just in! Being obese is healthy now. And if you believe us, then you can no longer trust yourself to determine what's true for you. You'll need to continue looking to us to tell you what's true for you. And now as we conclude today's news report, your cage is stronger than ever. Good night. <laughs> That one's internet gold right there. And I wanna thank the sponsor of this video, Blue Blocks, my favorite evidence-based blue light blocking glasses. Here's a scientific fact you might not know. The only thing more destructive than ridiculous woke culture is blue light. <laughs> this is such a great script. Now here's the thing, blue light at night tells your body that it's time to be awake. And what that does is it screws up your sleep, screws up your hormones, and screws up your energy the next day. Now personally, I don't like those things. I love to sleep great so I can feel great. Because like, I don't identify as low energy. That's why I wear blue blocks at night. So I can protect myself from harmful blue light so I can feel and function my best. Blue Blocks lets me function like a normal human being at night without compromising my sleep. I can check my phone, check my computer, look at my screens. I can hide in my closet when I don't wanna do a video shoot. I don't wanna shoot this video. People will think I'm ugly. Yeah. And to be practical, sometimes at night I have to turn on a light to fight off kangaroos. Yeah. 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 
For some reason, there just seems to be a lot of light exposure at night, but you can rest assured knowing you're protected from it when you wear blue blocks. If you wanna try out some stylish blue blocks, just go to blueblocks.com JP and get 15% off when you use the discount code JP. 